So what I do is we draw up a chart like this. Sometimes I even send them this. It's page two of my intake form, right? So I go, right, here's your brick wall. Each layer or each row is one year of your life. So year one, two, three, four, five, and to wherever they want to go. And then each brick could be an event that they recall, a yucky event, something yucky to them. It could be something small for us, but it's what the client uh, feels is traumatic for them. It could be separation from the parent. It could be the loss of a parent. It could be that nobody listened to them while they were yelling their heads off and they were in their little cot. It could be anything like that. It can be very traumatic to a little baby or a little child to be left out, to be without their caregiver, and um, you know, without support and safety. So then I say to them, OK, uh, do you remember anything? And they might not, right? Or somebody might have told them that when they were one year old or two years old, they were left with an uncle or an aunt for babysitting, and they yell their head off. They might not even remember it. So it might be a story that was told to them. OK, so I say to them, right, so we've got this big wall here. We need to bring it down, because this is the wall of depression that's kind of holding all the state together. So I say, well, let's get some events, and let's name them. So we'll say, OK, the client might say to me, well, at age one, there was the birth of a younger sibling. Well, that can be pretty traumatic for some kids, right? So what we do is we color in um, a brick and we call it a uh, sibling, give it a title. It could be that the mother went away and when she came back, she had this other little baby. And then all of a sudden, the client doesn't get the attention that they were normally used to. So that sets up all sorts of anxieties, right? And I'll say, OK, is there any, anything else? So we just go and pick out different events. So for year two, there could be uh, you know, the dog. You know, the dog scared them and mom wasn't there, or the dog barked at them and mom wasn't there. Uh, year three, there could be some other event, like um, they had to share their cookies with their younger sibling. And mom made, made them give the cookies up or something. So you know they have anxiety about my stuff and having to give it up. So these could all be traumas. And they could be real horrendous traumas, as I have mentioned to you before, that there are with people. Very horrible traumas, OK? They got sick, you know, like uh, Inchi was demonstrating. And, and they had to go to hospital, and they lost all their hair. You know, that could be so traumatic for a little child, separated from the um, parents in hospital, loss of hair, and then all the medication. So it could be sickness, let's say. So they got sick or something, right? So anyway, we're getting a number of events. We're getting more and more specifics, right? OK, so I say to them, well, which one do you think has the most charge? Which one do you think is the worst? You know, they get to pick. So they'll tell me, they, you know, we can rate the, um, the bricks, and we'll say, well, well, they can tell me, well, this was a 9, this was an 8, this was definitely a 10, you know, displacement. Um, this could be a 7, whatever. OK, so I ask my client which event would they like to work on, and then we start with that. But I explain to them that we don't have to work with all the events just the major ones, because they're going to start feeling a difference in their energetic level. They're going to feel lighter and lighter and happier because, because they're not using all that energy to hold down these feelings. They can actually let them rise up and dispense with them so their system feels freer. And of course, the immune system works better when it's not stressed out, even though it's stressed out in the unconscious rather than in the conscious. So we say, OK. If we, if we work with this event, let's say, what's that going to do? It's going to weaken the wall. We'll do Swiss cheese on here. OK, so let's get this, rid of this one. OK, another hole, right? What about this one here? Get rid of this one. The wall is destabilized. And before we know it, the whole thing can come down with just the slightest little push. 
That's a really good analogy, a good way of working with clients because they're quite involved with how they set up their treatment plan, basically, and what they want to work on. <laughs>